Hi, this is Milton City Councilman Matt Coons from District 2, Post 2, and I'm out walking this beautiful Sunday morning on one of Milton's many gravel roads. And there's been a lot of talk about the protection of our gravel roads and trying to maintain it to one house per three acres. And there's something to be said about that, but there's a problem with it too. It's more important that we recognize that the pasture behind us that you'll see here might disappear still with an AG3 zoning. What we need to do is to actually promote our equestrian opportunities Horses are a $333 million business in the state of Georgia, more so than even the Georgia peach business. But this is important. If we don't promote our equestrian opportunities, we'll run into problems, even if we have one house per three acres. Rarely do we see AG1 or AG3 actually maintain our equestrian opportunities, which actually raise property values and contribute to our equestrian nature and our rural culture and our logo that we said we wanted. Fortunately, I propose in August the Milton Equestrian Committee, and we actually voted on that in December. We're now going through the process of appointing our Milton Equestrian Committee appointees to come up with ideas that can maintain what you see here. But here's the thing. We have to look at AG1 on a subdivision basis still. And if we do not come up with solutions that help promote our equestrian opportunity, even our gravel roads, we'll run the risk of disappearing according to what we know we used to have. We cannot let that happen as your city councilman from District 2, Post 2. I'll continue to explain this to promote the fight for it and actually promote our equestrian opportunities that does contribute to our rural character. This is Matt Coons from City Milton, District 2, Post 2, and I appreciate your support. Thank you.